What is going on everybody and welcome to another deep learning with Python TensorFlow and Keras tutorial video. In this video we're going to continue building on our future cryptocurrency price movement predictor recurrent neural network. Okay, so uh, where we left off, uh, we've got this pre-processing happening, we've built the sequential data, and we've separated out our validation data. Uh, we have uh, we, we normalized the data here, we scaled the data here. The next thing we need to do is balance the data. We need to have as many buys as we have sells. If you have any more, like if you're like 52% buys and 51, 52% buys and let's say 48% sells, let's make sure it adds up to 100. Um, if, you're, if you have data like that, it's probably okay. You probably don't need to worry about balancing it. But if you've got anything more than like a 60-40 split or even more egregious, uh, it's really important you balance your data set. And arguably, it's just always going to be better if you just balance it because the, the model is going to learn probably pretty quickly if there's like a 5-10% delta there that, oh, just always predict this one class and immediately we make huge improvement. And that's the easiest change that the model can make. So it's important that you have a perfect split and, and balance of your data so that the model doesn't waste time doing that and then also kind of get stuck in a rut. Like it's going to start doing that and then from there it might stay stuck and lost. And so you don't want that to, to, to happen. Now there is a way you can pass class weights to Keras and tell it like, hey, one example of this is worth 1.5 examples of this or something like that and you can tell it um, hey, weight these a little different when you go to calculate the loss for mistakes made and stuff. Um, but to be honest, I've not found that to solve balance issues. So I, I think that's a great idea in theory. It just doesn't seem to work. <laughs> so anyway, balance your data. So, uh, so that's what we're going to do now. We've, we've shuffled the data, and now what we want to do is actually... Um, you know, balance it. So what we're going to do is, and again, there's probably a better way to do this, but I'm just going to have two lists here. We're going to say buys is a list and uh, sells uh, is a list. Uh, clear that out. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. Then what we're going to say is for sequence target in sequential data, uh, if target is a zero, that's a cell. So then what we're going to say is cells.append sequence target elif target equals a one buys append uh, sequence and target. Okay, um, so now we have buys and cells. The next thing we want to do is before we start slicing things and dicing things, uh, we're going to go ahead and do a random.shuffle buys, random.shuffle sells. We probably don't really need to do that because we already shuffled here, but uh, shuffle for good measure. So, so uh, then what we're going to find out is which one is lesser. We don't actually need to know if it's buys or sells. We just need to know what's the minimum value of these two lists. So the way we can do that is lower equals the minimum of the len of buys or the len of sells. And that'll tell us, you know, like maybe buys is 30,000 and sells is 60,000. Well, lower would be 30,000. Then what we can say is buys equals buys up to, or I'm sorry, let's see, uh, how do we do this? Uh, up, yeah, up to lower. So if the len is 30K, it would say up to 30,000 buys, and then sells equals sells up to lower. I'm going to remove 30K because that's not true, I don't think. It's just a value. Uh, okay, buy sells. Okay, so now we've got that. So then we're going to say uh, sequential data now actually is just equal to buys plus the sells. And then random.shuffle, <laughs> sequential data. Why are we doing that? A shuffle again, at least this one is so like the data isn't all buys and all sells because that'll really confuse the model. You definitely want to shuffle it up. Um, okay. So now we've got that. Uh, what we need to do is now it's in sequential data. We need to convert it from, you know, it's buys and sells is containing the, the tar, you know, the features and the labels. 
what we want to do now is split those out to be you know the x's and y's as diff you know as different lists i guess because the way that we're going to feed it you know it's going to be a model dot fit x y so we, we have to split these out into x's and y's so we're going to say x equals a list y equals a list and then we're going to iterate over the sequential data so for sequence target in sequential data uh, we're going to say capital X dot can we type dot append uh, the sequence and then Y dot append the target okay at this point I think we're closing it on being complete we're going to re return the numpy array of X and Y so our pre-processing data frame function should be complete and now what we're ready to do is come on down here and comment out that uncomment those get rid of this and I think what I want to do is let's print out some statistics I'm not sure I really want to type all this out I'm not going to I'm going to copy and paste this from the text-based version of the tutorial um, this is just waste. Sorry about my dogs. Hold on. I think our trash people are here and they're making a bunch of noise. Oh no, we got a huge. I have no idea what's going on. Someone's putting a, a ladder up to my roof. I, I probably should be somewhat concerned. Okay. <laughs> so, so the uh, so what we can see is the training data. Uh, is 69,000, validation is 3,000. There's a good balance between the buys uh, and the don't buys, and then we have a balance between the validation buys and don't buys. So everything is nicely balanced. We've got it split apart the way that we're expecting to. And in the next tutorial, I think we are ready to build the model and train the model. So that's what we're gonna do in the next video. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, whatever, you know the deal. Feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.